So in this Fallout 76 video, I'm going to be showing you this guy who you might have missed that's around the White Springs Resort. He'll be located right around here in the vicinity. He just went ahead across this bridge, and he'll be hiding out over here at the driving range, as you can see. I can't hear you. I'm rich. His name is Fritz, and let's just say we get some pretty interesting dialogue from him. This guy is pretty funny. I thought some of you that may not know about him would want to know about him. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Back in my day, the world wasn't such a fucking disaster. Any wisdom I could impart on the youth? Okay. Anyways, uh, let's ask him what is this place. This mighty fine establishment is the one and only White Spring Resort. Where only millionaires are welcome. If you're a helpless youth with no assets to your name and nowhere else to go, well, that's too bad. Get lost. <laughs> that's too bad. That's too bad. Anyways, uh, as you can see, now we got quite a bit of questions here. We can ask him to get to know him a bit more. So let's go ahead and start off here with the first dialogue option at the top. Do you have something against the White Spring? Whatever do you mean? How could I possibly have any complaints with a, a luxurious top floor view of the apocalypse and a shining silver spoon up my ass? <laughs> I simply love to sip tea and watch the peasants die of radiation. Wow. I was getting a vibe that he didn't really like the people at the White Springs. Hmm. It's kind of odd, though, that he's trying to act like someone that he thinks would be at the White Springs. He's, like, trying to live a life they would or something. Hmm. Anyways, let's go ahead and ask him, does anyone still live here? Not anymore. Apparently, the robots booted all the guests to the curb for some pre-scheduled renovations. Suddenly, they were forced to brave the wasteland just like the rest of us. Ha! Ahem, I mean, what a shame the most admirable upper class suffered such a tragic injustice. So that bit of dialogue we just got right there kind of explained what happened here to the people at the White Springs Resort when all the chaos was going down. All the guests were forced to leave here by the robots. Anyways, let's go ahead and ask them this question now. Does money and social class really matter anymore? Why, of course it does. In a world like this, banding together is necessary for survival. But... It wouldn't do to shack up with just any old ragamuffins waving guns around and wearing scraps for clothing. I am, of course, cut from a finer cloth. This dapper clothing and refined accent serve to set that standard for the new world. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about something else. Sure thing, kiddo. What do you want to know? Let's ask him what's your story, Gramps. Well, it's funny you ask. I was just thinking about the good old days when I could shoot birdies out on the lawn without getting mauled by feral. <laughs> the good old days. Ah, those were the simple days. Just playing golf and happily ignoring all the problems in the world. So, as you can see here, we get a special dialogue option with Fritz if we have four perception and higher. We can say, love your little get up. Did you loot it off some bodies around here? So yeah, let's go ahead and choose this dialogue option. Get up? Well, I never. <sighs> All right, you got me. I'm a raider who's got nothing better to do, okay? I spend my days fending off irradiated monstrosities to survive. Anyway, why not make some fun out of it? So that right there confirmed that he's faking so that right there confirmed that he's faking this whole lifestyle that he's doing right now just for some fun. I mean this guy is going all out with it with the accent and everything. He's just trying to have some fun. Just kinda like how we actually are in the wasteland. We all got our own kind of get ups that we're wearing while exploring around the game. Now I haven't really experienced any players actually changing up their voices and everything for the character they're trying to roleplay as but I'm not saying there's not players out there that do that I'm sure there are but it's just not my thing I'm not really that great at voice acting but yeah anyways now since we know his little secret that he's doing just because he's kind of bored in the wasteland and just trying to make some fun out of it now let's go ahead and see what he says when we ask him do you really like golfing 
Cricket's my favorite hobby. Now, these days, it's hard to find a quality golf ball, so I aim for ghoul heads instead. <laughs> Normally, it takes a couple strokes to knock those stubborn suckers off their tees, but next time, I'm shooting for a hole in one. Man, this guy does not break character. Certainly. <laughs> Until you have high enough perception, then you'll be like, all right, all right, you got me. But still, this guy, for the most part, stays in character. All right, now let's go ahead and say I'll be going now. Happy golfing. To you as well, stranger. And since we learned that Fritz likes knocking up ghouls upside their heads, let's see what happens when we lead a bunch of ghouls to this guy. Let's see him in action. Let's see how well he can defend himself against them. All right, so I'm going to gather up a bunch of ghouls. Right now I'm in the White Springs Golf Club, which by the way, if you don't know about this area and farming it, oh my gosh. You are missing out. You get so much XP from all the ghouls that you can find in here. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I think I got enough rallied up here. Yeah, that's plenty. Let's lead him down to Fritz now. I wonder if he has any kind of specific reaction to with attacking the ghouls at all. Since, once again, he did speak about liking to hit ghouls' heads since he can't find any quality golf balls around. And now these days it's hard to find a quality golf ball, so I aim for ghoul heads instead. Normally it takes a couple strokes to knock those stubborn suckers off their tees, but next time I'm shooting for a hole in one. Alright. Alright, Fritz. See them inside. Look, Fritz, we have quality golf balls. It seems like he doesn't do anything, and neither do they. Let me try to actually get them in the building. Come on. Come on in. All right. Come on. What the heck, Fritz? I thought you said you like hitting ghouls upside their head. Why are you not doing that? Attack the ghoul. Well, that was unfortunate. I was hoping to see him like, get out some kind of unique golf club or something. Just the way he's role-playing, you know. This guy does not break character. I would not doubt him having like a golf club as his weapon of choice around the wasteland. But yeah, now let me go ahead and just take these out real quick. And, oh, by the way, oh my gosh. <laughs> that ghoul was flying, doing some cartwheels in midair. Oh, forgot one inside the area. Where is that? And, oh, wait, what the heck? Thought he was about to walk off. Uh, you can't even hurt him. My bullets just go right through him. And, oh, yeah, also, by the way, you can place a camp here, too, where Fritz is located at. So you can have him be like he's a part of your camp. And not to mention, this is right by an area where you can get great XP. Speaking of XP, here comes some more ghouls. Freaking A. Okay. Oh my gosh, more. Alright, but yeah, I guess that's how wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you found this enjoyable in some kind of way. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.